Good morning, Acre Grove Christian School. This is Tuesday, March 24th, 2020. It is also National Agriculture Day. Aren't we proud of our farmers who are doing such great work these days to keep food on our tables? It's also National Cheesesteak Day. I don't know where I'll find one of those today. I may have to go all the way to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to get it, and I don't think that will be happening. This is day number 141 of the school year, 35 days remaining in the school year, 19 days until Easter Sunday, and our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, could be coming any day. To borrow a phrase from uh, the late, great Mr. Rogers, won't you be my neighbor? It's a great day to be in the neighborhood. And rise and shine, give God the glory, you children of the Lord. Happy birthday today goes out to Macy Lindsmeyer. I believe Macy would be 10 years old today. Congratulations, Macy. Hope you have a great day of study and celebration and being around your family. Your riddle for this morning, a man who was outside in the rain without an umbrella or a hat did not get a single hair on his head wet. Why was that? Answer, he was bald headed. Of course, I should know all about that. Water rolls off top of my head like water off a duck's back. Your quote for this morning, true strength is keeping everything together when everyone expects you to fall. There's a song that goes right along with that theme. When everything falls apart, praise his name when you have a broken heart. Just lift your hands and pray, greater is he that is within me than he who's in the world. Your hopeful scripture this morning comes from 1 Corinthians 10, 13. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. Great, great word from the Lord today. Your word of the day is determination. That's the quality of being resolute or firm in your purpose. We will get through this crisis with faith and determination. There are so many people around you that are working very hard. They're determined to make sure that we get through this. From our president all the way down to those people that are working in Congress, those people that are working in the schools, your teachers, everyone who is cleaning up around this, this uh, beautiful world that we have. It's beautiful sometimes to see some of the things that are happening, even though these are very, very tough times. People are losing their jobs. People don't have a livelihood but they're still hopeful that things will take place in a good way and they're determined that things are gonna get better. With your help, Lord, we know we can do that. Keep music in your heart and your mind. Ms. Crow has provided you some great music. Your middle school friends, please listen to good music. Make sure you understand it's time to be uplifted and to listen to those good songs from the Lord. Keep learning, keep growing. We need to stay apart, but we are all in this together. I have a friend to share with you this morning who's gonna sing today. His name is Jerry Mahoney. If you look at this, you may think his name is Howdy Doody. Some of you may remember that. I have had uh, Jerry Mahoney since 1955 when I was a small boy. He had a sidekick by the name of Knucklehead Smith, and they got into all kinds of mischief together. The ventriloquist who controlled him was named Paul Winchell, who has long since passed away, but he was a great and talented man. And Jerry says that he's going to be able to sing this morning, and he's saying, I can sing hard better than you can, buddy. So we're going to see about that. He says he's going to sing Amazing Grace, the first verse and the last verse of Amazing Grace. Is that right, Jerry? That's it. Here we go. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved the rich like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Great job, Jerry. Can you sing the last verse? Yes, sir. I'm ready to go. When we get there, 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun with no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. Jerry, that was really, really good. Yes, sir.
That's better than you, dead guy. Ah, uh, watch it, watch it, watch it. Uh, <laughs> I'm putting you back to bed, son. Have fun. We'll see you later. Well, there we go. Stay true to yourself. Push yourself a little bit harder every day. Pray specifically for someone today who you know is hurting. Establish a routine and keep it. I'm afraid some of you are not as focused as you should be. Remember, when you come back to school, you'll be expected to cover all your current assignments. Please be respectful in your dress. Get up and get out of bed. Be positive. Your teachers are working extremely hard. Well, in keeping with what we've done the last few days, we're going to do some more exercising today. I'm going to try to do 20 sit-ups for you. So you get down on the floor, get ready. I'm going to move into position. And here we go with our exercise for today. Ready? Okay, here we go. 20 sit-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I was close. Almost didn't make it. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.